Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today I have the F1 news update for this week, and well, a few things have happened actually, mostly this time involving Sauber. Yeah, for once, it isn't Red Bull dominated, although there is one thing that is still to be confirmed from Red Bull, but I'll get to that in a few minutes. So, what's happened with Sauber? Well, officially they have now confirmed that both Zhou Guanyu and Valtteri Bottas will not be racing for the team next year. Of course, Nico Hülkenberg was confirmed a couple of months ago, and they have now confirmed that partnering him next year will be F2 driver Gabriel Bortoletto. And this doesn't come as a major surprise, because there have been rumours that Bortoletto has been wanting to leave the McLaren Junior programme for a while to go to Sauber to take the now known other vacant seats. So that has now been confirmed. So that means we only have one driver left on the grid who hasn't had, well, only one seat left on the grid that hasn't had its driver confirmed, and that is the seat partnering Yuki Tsunoda, because of course there is now rumours of Chaco Perez leaving Red Bull, so that would leave potentially an empty seat next to Yuki Tsunoda if Liam Lawson gets the call up to the main team. So, uh, I don't know what's going to happen there. I've got no idea. Really don't know. But I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Now, as for the other major bit of news, also kind of involving Sauber, does come from the announcement of Valtteri Bottas leaving the Sauber team. And that is the fact that the, well, there's a rumour that's come about since his departure from Sauber, suggesting that he may be returning to Mercedes as a reserve driver, of course. He was one of the main Mercedes drivers from 2017 to 21, partnering, of course, Lewis Hamilton, and then leaving the team in 2022 to go to Alfa Romeo, now Sauber, soon to be Audi, though, um, which it does seem that Bortoletto and um, Nico Hülkenberg will be there for the change. So it looks as if both drivers will be Sauber drivers and Audi drivers, but... The rumour does now suggest for Valtteri Bottas that he could be returning to Mercedes after a couple of years away as a, re as a reserve driver. So if Kimi Antonelli or George Russell can't race for whatever reason, Valtteri would take their place. Now, is this possible? Yeah, completely. It's absolutely possible. In fact, um, Valtteri only got his Mercedes AMG 1 which he ordered while he was at Mercedes last year. So, it's very possible that he could return to the team. I don't know, I would love to see that personally. Part of me would also love to see him go to Ferrari as a reserve driver for them. So he could potentially again partner Lewis Hamilton, that would be amazing. But I do think Mercedes could work well for him as a reserve driver at least. But speculation as to who's going to be alongside Yuki Tsunoda is rampant. Of course, there are a few names being thrown around, Liam Lawson being one of them, Sergio Perez being another, and another one is Franco Colapinto. Because in the last couple of weeks, Christian Horner and Helmut Marco have showed a great deal of interest in Franco Colapinto. So, it's not impossible to say that Franco Colapinto could be at RB next year. Or, as it seems, they're officially rebranding Racing Bulls. Yep, it's finally going to happen by the looks of it. That god-awful name has reared its head. I thought it was gone forever. RB was here to stay, but no. Rumours are now suggesting that they're now going to be called Visa Cash App Racing Bulls. And oh, God, no! RB was okay. That was manageable. Was fine with that, but... As I said last year when this name was a f was originally rumoured, uh, it sounds so bad. I don't like it. But that is it, however, for this week's rather packed F1 news update. Wasn't expecting that to be the case. Anyway, though, I'll do it for this video. As I said, so please, like this video. Subscribe to my Nandrock Sounds channel. Her link is down in the description. My sub button is down there. Please click those and then the bell icons to get both sets of our notifications, comments as well, because why not? And let me know what you think of all I've talked about today, and if I've forgotten anything, please let me know in the comments. Once you've done that too, please follow me on my social medias, 
They'll be down in the link tree in the description below. That is going to be Roxanne's website. And lastly, please do share this video with all your friends. They can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing. And around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you all tomorrow with the return of D&D for Dummies after two months. Goodbye!